Next, the debate's getting the most buzz online today, and one of the most discussed stories is the cancellation of the beach party that was being organised on Facebook. More than 4,000 people had signed up to what organisers called the biggest open party tour bay has ever seen, and revellers were told to bring enough alcohol to last all weekend. But the police said the event was illegal, and they threatened to ban booze being sold in the town to try to prevent trouble. Torbay doesn't want to be associated with something that's illegal and something that could cause risk to the public. So the licensees, uh, certainly as a responsible group of people, I'm sure acknowledge that. Well, joining me now to talk about this is Matt Rhodes from FreshNetworks.com, which builds and manages online communities, and he's been blogging on this story today. So, Matt, this party's been cancelled now by the organisers. Do you think that was the right thing to do, or was it an overreaction? I'll be interested to see, actually, if it is cancelled or if people just turn up, because one of the things you find with social media is that nobody's actually in charge, and it's quite difficult to stop something or to kind of really take action on something because everybody independently has decided they might turn up. So I, I'd love to be there on Friday to find out if those people do turn up. So parties like this tend to gain their own momentum? Yeah, that's exactly it. If you think in the past one person would invite their friends, they would invite their friends. But on kind of social networking sites, people forward on to everyone and it spreads virally. So nobody really is in the centre of it and nobody's really in charge. And how you deal with that is actually quite difficult. Well, uh, Matt, one person who was going to attend has criticised the way the authorities have handled this on a blog. Let me just read you what they've said. I hope the council realise that within a day, the amount of people attending has increased dramatically due to their total incompetence. Why would you send letters home to children informing them of the party? Uh, but it is hard for police, isn't it, to ban an event if they don't know who's organised it or the organiser has set it up under a pseudonym. It's very hard for them. No, it is hard for them. And I think we deal a lot with clients who are trying to kind of deal with that kind of situation where people are doing things online in social media. And the best way to do it is to do it in the media that it's done in. And so if somebody tries to organize an event in Facebook, you should really go and address them in Facebook. You should talk to them and you say, we're the police. Uh, we want to talk to you about this. We're worried for these reasons. We think that this would be illegal. And really engage in that debate with people rather than doing it through a traditional kind of push kind of PR press release, which as you say, is probably double the number of people that were going to turn up. Well, yes, in fact, m m let me just refer to your own blog today on this subject then. Uh, you say that the police should have taken a different approach. I'll just quote from it now. You say, our approach to things that are organised or discussed in social networks is to engage on the same terms. So, ideally, if someone sets out to have a party like this, what should they do? How should they go about it? And what should the police do? How, how should they keep aware of what's going on? There's a, probably a couple of things the police could do. One is really good monitoring of the conversations that are going on online. And so I would expect every kind of local police force to have somebody whose part of their role is probably to just watch what's happening. And you can do that quite easily through just kind of buzz tracking and search online. The second thing really, and it's an idea to consider, is to actually create a space yourself. And so somebody like Torbay Council or, 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 or Devon could have decided that they were going to create a space. If you want to host an event in the area, Brilliant. Come here. Post the event here. Invite people from here. And then you start controlling the conversation rather than being on the outside and having nothing to do with it. Okay, Matt Rose, I don't know if you're heading to Torbay this weekend, but uh, if you do, have a lovely time. Thanks, Anna. Thanks for that today.